Well, hello, Coffee Town friends. How y'all doing? I don't know if you've read the news yet, but Abby showed up this afternoon almost to the exact time when we think she disappeared. She wasn't tremendously hungry. She ate just like she always does. She's well cared for. I don't know. There's no answer for it. I'm not going to ask you more questions. I'm just going to simply be thankful. Um, did it have anything to do with the eclipse? It happened when the eclipse was here. And two days later, three days later to the hour, she shows back up. You call it what you want to. I don't know. We don't have any answers. We didn't have any answers why she disappeared. There was no sign of anything. So... We're just thankful she showed back up, and we fed her, and she ate normal, didn't she? Well, She's she, always hungry. She is a little hungry, but, uh, but not like, not like Star for three days. And she's not emaciated. She's had some water. Uh, folks, we don't know. We're just thankful. We're thankful for your all's prayers and concerns and thoughts last night. And uh, it, it's just, it is what it is. We'll, we'll learn. We don't know. <laughs> Tonight we're making a good soup. In this big kettle over here, a big uh, electric skillet, is that broth from those ribs, which is the coffee and the Dr. Pepper, in that wonderful rib drippings. You see how clear it was? I strained it out. Here it is. It's delicious. Uh, it doesn't have any salty flavor or anything. It's not like bullion. So we're going to put a little cabbage in there. We're going to put some mixed vegetables in there. We're going to put some tomato in there, and we're going to have a good soup. It's rainy here. It's not cold, but it's it's uh, it, it wants soup, doesn't it, Mama? Yeah. Mama recommended this, and I said, I'm fine with that. Mama said, we could make soup off that broth if you want. And I said, oh, I've got If you want to. That's just that quart that you had here for me, I thought. This cabbage, y'all can look down here, I'm just rough chopping it. Nothing fancy, nothing elaborate. You all know, I know you are crazy jealous of my knife skills. I mean, well, who wouldn't be? Look at this quality cutting that's going on here. <laughs> uh, I check on myself sometimes because you all know I can't cut. I just give it a good... You know, whatever. And that's what I want you to do. Cut however you want to, because we ain't trying, we ain't studying nobody. We ain't trying to impress nobody with our cutting skills, are we? Well, goodness, no. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this cabbage right in this broth. And I'm going to let it start cooking. This soup is going to come together really quick. Some soups you can simmer all day long. Some soups, you want them just fit fast and furious. For a Thursday night, Friday Eve night, this soup's going to be delicious. Um, we like soup year-round, but boy, if it rains in the spring or in the in the summer, Mama's going to probably want, gonna want some soup. It's just like if it starts to snow. Whenever we hear anything about some snow coming, we immediately start turning to chili. We need a big old pot of chili if it's going to snow. You do that for a couple of reasons, because it's seasonal for one. Another reason you do it is so you'll have it to eat in case electricity goes off. You can put a kettle of chili over a candle and heat it up pretty good, folks. I don't know if y'all have ever done this. I'm going to share a little uh, hack that I do. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to share a little hack that I do. I open the oven door. Pull out the bottom rack, and I put three or four candles, and I can put a kettle, kettle over that, and I can do um, I can do eggs, I can do any kind of frying. Uh, you've got to build in a little camp stove right there in your oven. Just open that door. Uh, that glass is heat resistant, so you lay your candles on it. Pull that rack out. You can pull the top rack out if you need a little cooler. You can pull the bottom rack out. You can adjust it. It's a wonderful little hack. It really is. Now, Mama, I'm not sure what needs to happen to these 
potatoes since they're whole. You don't have to cut them. Y'all may turn the water off. Okay, that's right. So you want to use here, that? Here, I'm going to get that cabbage down there, Ralph. Now this is what we're doing. Look here, that cabbage is going down in that beef broth, pork bowl. Those are pork ribs. It doesn't really matter what kind of broth you use. And it's up on, it's on 375, okay? Right, yeah. Now I'm just gonna pour these in here on the cutting board. And at first glance, you're gonna think, well, that ain't too many potatoes. But once you get them cut up and you get them processed for your, your dish, they almost seem to grow. It's like, wow, a few more potatoes than I thought. Sometimes we use these and slice them up, and I fry them, and, or we'll put them on green beans. And we always have enough, don't we, Mama? Oh, yeah. That's Once again, yeah. these fascinating cutting skills are going to work here. I'm not gonna cut them so they're just mush. Don't you run for me, potato. You get back here. I can't see your all's comments just yet, but I will. Y'all know, once I get the prep done, then we can chat a minute. Okay. See, that's a pile of taters. Once you get them all kind of topped into the right size. Now this is, this is semi-homemade soup. But it's, we're putting it together. You know, most of, a lot of things that we call homemade is just other ingredients put together. But we kind of tend to think if, if you use a can of potatoes, that ain't homemade. Mm, is it? <laughs> I'm making it right here in the homemade area. Homemade area. <laughs> this right here is the homemade area. See, I already had some onions that I had too much the other night. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to use all them. Mama says, that's enough. We'll, we'll take an onion and we'll use it 10 times before we say we're done. Because we just use a slicer, so just going to slice them up too. Get them all turned the right direction and they'll slice up and make a nice little. This onion, this ain't going to be too much to hurt Mama, but it's going to add a great deal of taste and then that hot liquid. It's gonna be delicious. Now this looks like a lot more than it is, but it's like you're cook, cooking in a big pot, but this is shallow, okay? This is a bit more shallow. So when we- get the carrot real thin, so they'll cook Okay. Yeah, the carrots, we, we should maybe even microwave them, what do you think? I'm going to put them in the microwave for just a tender moment so we won't be having to sit here for an extra 20, 30 minutes working on carrots to decide to join the soup party. Y'all ever power boil your stuff in the microwave? It's a good idea like where you have those potatoes already cooked. The cabbage is going to be done pretty quick here. I'm just wanting a few extra carrots. The veg oil carrots are fine. I'm going to put a can of veg oil in there. <clears throat> but I love good carrots and soup and I love to be able to see them I want all that goodness in there so we'll put a little water and we'll put these in the microwave give them a head start and then we'll pour them in our soup And that will go. Haven't slept much in three nights. <laughs> We're still a little tired, but we sure are spirit lifted. Aren't we, Mama? Yeah. Mama said her baby was home. Now, I'm going to tell you, Mama can act all tough like she don't really care sometimes. But she loves that little dog, don't you, Mama? Yeah, I sure miss her once she's gone. I hadn't heard such a good talking about her. 
I said, Mama, I didn't know you was so close to her. Well, she was company and she always went to the gardens with me. And Mama's not had gardens long since she's been here, so that's a good thing. Don't know nothing about what happened with her. That's the weird thing. I've read up on the eclipse. Talked to several people. Some people have said they've heard of dogs and animals acting funny. Some people said it would have to be total eclipse for them to really respond. She's never done that before. Are you cutting up more? Well, I'm cutting up how you gave me. Well, I thought that was just you being you. <laughs> I thought, well, he's through. You coming back for some more? Yeah, I guess I'll have to. She gave me all these carrots. Now, I use them the carrot person. She gave me all these carrots. She prepped the carrots, washed the carrots. I took care of the cabbage. And then she tells me, are you going to do all that? I think you're just used to, that water's already getting hot. I think you're just used to fussing me over carrots, Mama. Mm. Well, you seem to just stick it in there. Mama, you do that kind of stuff. You got someone You'll also it. stick your hand in front of this knife if I give you the least bit of opportunity. Mm. <laughs> oh. These have been in the wash, say they're wet. Oh, hope my allergies don't take a liking to, to me tonight. Hope they don't take a liking to me. Now, look at this cabbage. Oh, you know, Mama, there's enough there. If you want to, you can get you out a bowl of that and just have cooked cabbage tomorrow for lunch. Oh, no. Cooked cabbage and potatoes. How would that sit? Hey, Mama, there's the... You need to show them that cake right quick. Oh, wow. I am... Not cake, but bread. I keep saying it wrong. Uh, all I'm doing is opening up this and some veg off. You ain't gonna miss nothing on my side of the camera. Mom, show me your cake. Wait just a second. Let me wash this veg off. You did. Look at there. Now let me just tell y'all, we didn't eat all the muffins, we gave some of them away. But that is the best little treat that I'd had in a while. Best little treat. Mama, take the dime off, I bet you can't see it in there. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to cut them a little slice and let them... No, I'll be wanting to eat it. <laughs> Now you see we've done pretty good. I did I, I did cut the middle last night when we got home from church because it was so smelly, so good. And oh, it tasted so good. I even had a little coffee with it. Didn't figure I was gonna sleep anyway. I told mom I said don't matter how much caffeine I have tonight, I ain't sleeping probably. <clears throat> Can y'all see that? This muffin's absolutely delicious. I'll break this one apart. That means I won't have to share that. You see down in there? That apple and that raisin was so delicious. I had another one. And those blueberries. I had another one this morning for Oh, coffee. I've not eaten one this morning. You've not eaten one today? Mm -hmm. Are you flipping? No, I didn't. You went all day long and didn't eat one of them. Not monitored. Nobody was here to babysit today. You as free as a bird, you could have minced on that. Did you slice the cake? The bread? Mama's been good today. You've been too worried to eat. I'm too, uh, I'm too good all the time. <laughs> Mama, you can't be telling stories like that. She's good all the time. She said she is, though. Mom, won't you come over here and join us? I can't see you standing over there. Look at me with judgmental in your eyes. Am I cooking wrong tonight? No, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a bystander. Now look at that good veg all going in there. You got anything else you want to stick in there, Mama? Do you look in the refrigerator? Mm -hmm. 
Are you going to put any um, tomato juice in it? Oh, yeah, we need that. The tomato sauce. Whichever one, well, I better get mine. It's smelling delicious, but it's going to smell better, even better in a moment. It doesn't have any seasons or spices in it. What do you put in yours is the question. They need tomato juice. Uh, I haven't drank any. It smells wonderful. It would be good in it. It's going to have to have a little bit of salt. Everything in here loves salt. And everything in here has eaten up all the salt that was in there. And we didn't put a lot of salt in that meat, so it didn't even start out as salty. So, salt. I think that's coming out there because I've held it over a steaming kettle before. Who would do something like that? That'd be me. I know you're not supposed to, but you know what? I just can't do it all better. I can't do any better. I've tried the other. I've got the little salt thing over there. And we do use that, and it helps. But if you just use a shaker... You're going to shake it over that, you're going to have that problem. Mama, is my spices? No, they're not there. Right. They're not on the... Yeah. No, they're not on that thing on the table, but I can't find the southern secret. Southern Secret. This has got all the veggies in it, green beans and all included. Oh, there it is, Southern Secret. We're going to put this in here. This is going to take care of our garlic and our onion and a little bit of that lemony, beautiful flavor of the other mixes that are in there. And then I'm going to open this up. Oh, I'm having to work for myself. Oh, bless your heart. I'm having to open all these cans. Thank goodness I got a good can opener. I'm going to brag on it and then juice it, John. What am I doing? Mama, you got any vegetables in there you want to add in here right quick? Or you got no. peas or frozen ones you want to put in? No. That got some peas in it. It did. The veg all did. But one can is all we put Where in there. You think, or, or think of frozen down there. And it ain't too late to put some frozen. So in goes just a can of tomato sauce. It's gonna change it up a little bit. Let's see if I need water in it. Might need a little water in that can. Let me test the current. I'm gonna give it to you over there. Well, those are as tender as your eyeball, Mama. And here's this so you can dump it. Okay. So the carrots are done now. If we hadn't have done that, we would be an extra 20 minutes waiting to cook that many carrots. We did well, I had half of them underneath the mitt. We ain't wasting them. Mmm. Like I said, it's not very deep. It looks like a lot extra, but it's not really. Mm. I think there I is. Have another can, but I don't think. Let's give it a whirl. Taste your food as you go. It's only you're going to know if you've got the right amount of everything. Oh. I don't think it needs a thing to eat. You want me to use those here? Okay. Now we're talking. I didn't know we even had these. I thought there was a different kind of frozen vegetable down there. Those are others. No, this is perfect. Now we got us a pot of soup.
Now, look how pretty that just turned. Canned vegetables are great. Frozen vegetables are prettier than that. Oh, you want more like using no half. I know what I'm having for for lunch. You think we ought to put the lid on it? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Put the lid and let's let it boil. How does it taste enough? Do we need to put beef broth in it too? Uh, I tasted it before I added those frozen vegetables. Well, they look I thought it was pretty good. What are y'all saying? Great idea, Mama. Don't need meat in there. No, we don't have to have meat. Yummy. Thank you, Ozark Here Living. Here is some. If it ain't beefy, it has flavor. Do you want to put that in there? No, well, I can't taste it. But I well, you taste of it. Get you a spoon. Well, hey, Donna, thanks for watching. Do you have beef cubes uh, in it? No, we have any beef cubes. We use a little bit of that uh, pork rib roast. Pork rib from Sunday wow. broth. Uh, thanks for those stars. Y'all are so kind, Deanna. Thank you. Patty loves it. Patty, we do too. We like it year round. I, at one time, I was a winter soup and really didn't even care for it then. Mom would say soup and I'd say, is that, is that all we got? And she'd say, yeah, it's good. And I think, now, I'm the one that says, it's time for soup. I'm craving soup. We need some soup. Mama brought this one up tonight, though. This was all hers. I was trying to think of something else earlier. I called and I said, what's for supper? And she said, I don't know, maybe soup. And I said, oh, okay, that sounds delicious. And I was all on board for that. Hold that over there. I'm going to get this. Beef brought, this has already been opened? Yeah. It was in the refrigerator. Is it still good? At the top. Best before. Boy, it's way good. We could eat this all the way through June. Up to 4th of July. Well, I'm gonna, since you brought it up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Since it's a half of one anyway. It won't hurt anything. It's just the broth. Just the broth. That was a half a box, wasn't it? Yeah, a good half a box. We use this brand, or any brand really, but we use this because it's, it's our store brand from Save a Lot. And Mama's done took the label. Mama, you didn't want us to cook oh, and eat. Oh, it's in this bowl. I just thought, well, I didn't pick up the label. You did, Mama. Here. I'm going to throw this away. Now, we like it good and soupy. And boy, it's there now. Now everything is done. It's boiling, letting all them frozen vegetables get good and hot. They are hot. It could eat right now, but let's let it simmer for another few, okay? Now, what would really be good with this tonight would be some delicious grilled cheese or a peanut butter sandwich. But we're just gonna go with the healthier of the versions and just say we'll have soup. Um, let's spit him right over there and let him cook a minute. Come right around here, little boy. Let him cook a minute and then we'll be ready to eat. We won't have to move him again. <clears throat> so what was y'all saying? Was Abby missing? How long? Patsy, she was missing. Um, the day of the eclipse, Monday, right at the eclipse, yeah. I pet, I was petting her on the front porch Monday at, during the eclipse. 2.30 And it was 3 something, whenever the eclipse. Yeah. And, um, she ran around the back of the house and I'm just assuming she's out there where she always is. I went back to work and came home. We did a video with you all and then at 7 o'clock I went out there uh, to feed her. Now, Abby is always here. We don't have like a, a chain link fence, but we are fenced in on the back sides. 
and there's rose bushes and there's, you know, you could run a cow in there and it wouldn't go anywhere. Um, so you just have the front and we live on a back road. So we don't get a lot of traffic. And so you can easily let dogs run loose here. Most people do, unless it's a house dog. And um, especially a dog like her who never leaves the yard. Well, went out there and I hollered for her and usually she's up here within a minute. And it's most of the time quicker. Most of the time doing this quick. Hollered and hollered and no, she couldn't come. She wouldn't come. And uh, mama heard me holler and a little longer than normal. She said, what are you, what's wrong? She said, she must be wandered off somewhere. I don't know where she's at. And um, she never did come. I went out front. I searched everywhere. We went through the fields. We went through the barn. The whole property's been searched. And um, I got in the vehicle and I started riding. I thought she's never done this before, but I wanted to go everywhere. We went to the park from whence she come. Uh, I thought, well, maybe that's it. I've had authorities look good. And I've had friends look good. And I've had the all the rangers and people at the parks look, everybody's looking. The UPS guy. Uh, we've just imposed upon all of our folks to say, hey, if you see this little cute dog. And Mom and I were talking this morning. I said, today is day three. I'm really losing hope. It's good, you know. And Mama said, it's not looking good, but there's still hope. And we've left her food out there. That's another thing. Nothing didn't attack her or anything, which we know now, but we knew that probably they had because her food stayed out there. And I said, I'm gonna leave it one more day. So she comes home for it. And um, so this evening, about four, Mama went out back and Abby was on the back porch, and she'd already eat her food. And Mama gave her more food, and she ate it. And now that's not unusual. And uh, but she, I get, I tell you, she ate what I had out there for Monday evening, and it hadn't been touched. And then Mama gave her more, and she left half of it. That's how starved to death she was. So can't figure that out. She looks perfectly like she's coming off a of vacation, and um, she's she just won't yes, please. That right there. That's fine. That's fine. This be right? Yeah. And um, she looks like she just flew back home from a, a extended vacation. I do not know. The mystery is is there, and it may never be answered. We don't know how she got gone. Not a trace. Nobody has seen her. Nobody that way. This way. It's so strange. But here we are. And we're just going to be thankful. I'm not. Okay. Do you want crackers? I'm not having crackers, but I already ate some crackers. Let's see this beautiful pot of soup. Now look at that, folks. Let's do a little flyover. Y'all seen us put that together. Now that may be better tomorrow. I don't know. But it is delicious. This is not Mama's homemade soup. So, uh, if you're thinking, that's how they make home. No, this is Thursday night, we want soup. Oh, together. Mama's homemade soup is all home canned and all that good stuff. And we cook our potatoes and we cook elbow macaroni in it. Um, look at that. But I will tell you a little secret. This is a secret. That I use. I don't even know if Mama uses it or not. I'm not a big fan of thick soup. I want juicy soup. And um, when I make my soup, and my soup looks just like this the next day. When I make my soup, I cook the potatoes in a separate kettle. When I, they're done after about 12 minutes, I rinse them in a colander. I rinse them good. Then I put them in my pot of soup. If I put elbow macaroni, it gets the same treatment. And then I put it in the soup. I get all the starch off from it. And then that way the next day, your soup and your juice has not thickened from that starch. 
And it does make a difference in the consistency of the soup. Mm -hmm. Is that how you want, Troy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We ate like much. You can see it. Mm -hmm. well, let's bless it, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the blessings you've given us today. And we thank you for the opportunity to take this meal, dear Lord. And we thank you for allowing us to be here together to take it, Lord. And we thank you for answering prayers and for keeping Mag Abby safe, dear Lord, and bringing her home. Dear Lord, we just pray for this world and pray for our nation, pray for our leaders. and pray for everyone here with a prayer request, dear Lord, spoken and unspoken. And we just pray that you'll lead, God and direct us in all that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, let's try this semi-homemade soup. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Good and juicy. Mmm. That does taste good, Mama. That broth made it change. Yeah, that beef broth brought it up and all it's getting. Mm-hmm. I tasted of it before, and it definitely improved the situation. The beef broth is what it needed. Mmm. Those frozen peas are sure good, too. Mm -hmm. Why is it that frozen peas are so much sweeter than canned peas? No, you maybe you cook the, some of the flavor and nutrients out of them. But they are. The, pea, the frozen ones are always sweeter. Get my y'all's tea here. We're having sweet tea for summer, and we're having Save soup for, for the for the rain. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. All right, folks. Mama, you got anything you want to add to that? No. Folks, we've kept y'all on here. Thank y'all for your prayers. Thank you for your concerns. Uh, we're in much happier space tonight knowing Abby's home safe. Now, why she left, we don't know. Will she leave again? We don't know. Uh, am I going to lock her up? No. That's no lie. Mama has never, ever, uh, like any animal, locked or tied. Uh, put them in an enclosure, like a whole yard or something. Um, but no, we're She's back to her normal. We're going to leave her there. If you have to lock something up to keep it, are you really, is it really yours? Um, I know you have to protect them, but we live in a place different than a lot of places. It's, you're safe with animals here. Um, I know there's leash laws and all that in a lot of places here. You know, we've, we live right here where our house is sitting in several acres. And she has plenty of room. And um, she's always, she's never had a problem with it. I don't know if something scared her. Something happened. I don't know where she was. I don't know if she ran too far and got lost and found her way back. I'm telling you, it's just a mystery. All I know is prayers have been answered. And we're thankful, and we're thankful for you, for you all too. And um, make you some soup. Find you something good to eat. Make you some memories. And I hope you all remember Pam with the stage one breast cancer. We requested prayer for her at church and got our church a praying for her. Amen. So. And wishing her the best of luck and stuff. Amen. Anything else, Mom? No. Well, Mama, it's early in the evening. So is it... Good night, Mama, or is it goodbye, Mama? Uh, it'll be good night because I won't be back on here before I go to bed. I don't know. I won't be going to bed now, but I'll say good night. Okay. <laughs> good night, Mama, and God bless you. Y'all have a blessed night. Lord, we'll see you tomorrow. Who knows? We may cook something. Bye.